Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you a useful plugin I like to use when creating a membership or e-commerce website. The plugin is called Login Then Log Out. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can just click it and hit the download button. Essentially what this plugin is going to do is dynamically give you the ability to have a login or log out button right here depending if the user is you know, logged in or logged out. So normally you would have to probably add a little bit of JavaScript or do a totally different plugin. Um, I like this one because it's very lightweight and it just gives you a few options and you're good to go. After you have the plugin installed, what you need to do is go over into your settings and then you're going to see this new uh, menu right here called login or log out. So what I recommend is go here first, fill in these boxes and then I'll show you the next step. So it's really simple. What we're going to do is have a unique login page. So in this case, I just have a page called login. Then after you log in, you want to have it where it redirects somewhere. So in this case, I want it to go to an account dashboard like this. And then when they log out, just have it go back to the home page or you can have a totally different page. So get these set up right here and then click the save button. Then what you need to do is just jump over into your appearance and under menus. Once you get into here, you're going to see this new section over here called login slash logout. And then they give you three different options. So you can either have it just add the login button or just the logout. But in most cases, you're probably going to want to click this one called login and logout. So that's going to automatically add the dynamic functionality. So it's going to know if the user's logged in or logged out. And then what you do is just click here, hit add to menu, and then it's going to add it right over here as a dynamic link. So you're going to want to keep this URL the same, but what you can do is if you want to change how it looks on the front end, so you see right here it says log out. So if you want that to say um, something like log out now, you can just do that, hit save menu, and then anywhere that you can see right here, now it says log out now. So you can change the labels within here, and that's really about it. Once you do that, it's going to automatically know if the user's logged in or logged out. So let me do a quick uh, walkthrough and show you how that works. Here we are on the front end of that website and I made sure that I'm in an incognito window and not logged in. So of course now it says login up here inside the menu. So now when I click that, it should go into that login page I declared inside the settings. So now I'm going to put in my login credentials and click login. And it should redirect me into that account dashboard and it should say log out up here. And yep, that looks like it works correctly. So now you can see that it's dynamically going to know that you're logged in. So now if I click that button, it should redirect me into the home page. And yeah, it looks like everything is working correctly. And that's it for this tutorial on how to add a dynamic login and logout functionality to your WordPress website. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.